Ayer's root beer is a soft drink root beer that was introduced in 1876. One special, how much they rate. Guys to you for petting my dog so loving me. For someone like you, only that Hires taste will do. So Hires to you, only one taste is Hires to you. Hires to you. We blend genuine root beer ingredients for a true root beer taste. Hires to you. Only one taste says Hires to you. Hires Root Beer was created by Philadelphia, Pennsylvania pharmacist Charles Elmer Hires. In December of 1869, at the age of only 18, he borrowed some money and opened his own pharmacy. Not long after launching his business, Hires happened to make a fortunate discovery. He developed a type of cleaning solution made from clayish type of soil found locally called Fuller's Earth, a popular item at the time for removing grease spots from wool clothing. He fashioned this dirt into small cakes and called it Hire Special Cleaner, which would eventually net him $6,000. In 1875, Hires and his bride were honeymooning at a New Jersey boarding farm when they tasted the landlady's special pie mixture. It contained sassafras bark, wintergreen, sarsaparilla root, hops, juniper berries, pipsisawa, and other herbs. Hires returned home with a recipe for this sweet concoction and soon began experimenting with it. Assisted by two medical college professors, he was able to develop and then market a dry concentrate of the recipe that could be mixed with water, sugar, and yeast to produce a sweet drink. As was common practice at the time, Hire sold his soft drink not merely as a refreshing drink, but as a sort of a medicine. It also represented a morally upright alternative to beer and liquor, an important plus lending to the strong anti-to-alcohol sentiments that was sweeping the nation. In fact, Hires originally planned to market his product as Hires herbal tea, but changed his mind after receiving a piece of invaluable business advice from a friend. His friend reportedly told Hires that tough Pennsylvania coal miners would never drink herb tea, but they would drink something with beer in the name. On the basis of this suggestion, Hires named his concentrated mix Root Beer. Hires introduced the new concoction in 1876 at the Centennial Exposition in Philadelphia. It was a great success, prompting him to start selling it outside the local area through pharmacy soda fountains or as a mix to be brewed at home. He had cultivated new customers by giving away free glasses of root beer. Hires marketed it as a solid concentrate of 16 wild roots and berries claimed to purify the blood and make rosy cheeks. Before long, customers were able to purchase 25 cent packages of the concentrate, enough to make five gallons of root beer. By the early 1880s, Hires began selling three ounce bottles of root beer in liquid form. He advertised heavily in local newspapers like the Philadelphia Public Ledger and quickly created a booming market for his product. Realizing that root beer's appeal could easily extend beyond the Philadelphia area, Heinz decided to promote his drink to a nationwide clientele. He thus became the first person to purchase a color advertisement on the back a page of the Ladies Home Journal. At the time, Coca-Cola was barely known outside its hometown of Atlanta, Georgia. Hire's root beer soon became America's soft drink. In 1890, Hires abandoned the pharmacy business entirely and incorporated his prosperous enterprise as Charles E. Hires' company. Three years later, he introduced a ready-to-drink bottle version of root beer. 
In 1884, he began producing a liquid extract and a syrup for using in soda fountains and was soon shipping root beer in kegs and producing a special fountain dispenser called the Hires Automatic Muni Maker. In 1890, the Charles E. Hires Company incorporated and began supplying Hires root beer in smaller bottles, claiming over 1 million bottles sold by 1891. Hires revenues ballooned at 29% rate between 1902 and 1909 as soda fountains sold 65 million glasses of root beer at a nickel each. Charles Hires died suddenly at 85 in 1937, but the company continued as a family business until 1960. Consolidated Foods bought the company from the Hires family in 1960 and sold it two years later to Crush International. Procter & Gamble bought Crush in 1980, and they turned around and sold it to Cadbury Schweppes in 1989. Cadbury divested its soft drinks arm in 2008, and the beverage company renamed itself Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. The hire's name was slowly strangled and overshadowed by the A&W brand name by its eventual and current owner, Cadbury Schweppes, and its spun-off successor entity, Dr. Pepper Snapple Group. You cannot find hires on the shelves anymore, but you may be able to score some old cans on eBay or some other website. The hire's brand now is offered by Canada Dry Mots as an alcoholic drink, hires root beer and vodka. So what do you remember about this iconic beverage? Leave a comment, or if you want, leave a suggestion for a future video about your favorite soft drink. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.